Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos and welcome to Heart Home City where today we have a huge battle of the immunities with the Heart Home Haunts taking on the Goldenrod Balance who are starting out with Obstagoon and Licky Lick and that is a fantastic play to start out with Obstagoon as Poltergeist and Spiritomb are sent out for the ghost based Heart Home Haunts. Obstagoon immediately going with the Moonblast not capitalizing on its Dark type advantage. But it, it does do a good hit on Poltergeist, also lowering its special attack. But Poltergeist with that cursed body disables the metronome for Obstagoon. And Poltergeist immediately goes with the Incinerate, which is going to burn up the leper berries of Licky Licky. And Obstagoon and Licky Licky responds with an Aurora Beam hitting Spiritum with that move. And Spiritum immediately goes and hides under the water with a dive. But do not expect to see the Heart Home Haunts. Capitalize on their ghost typing as Obstagoon goes with the struggle, but Spiritomb avoids that attack, and likewise, the Goldenrod Balance won't be able to capitalize on their normal typing, both sides being immune to each other. As that conversion does fail, and Spiritomb now goes for its dive onto Obstagoon. Decent hit there. Not doing a great deal of damage, but it is nice to always get that offensive move in. As the struggle this time does connect on Spiritomb, but it looks like it does more damage to Obstagoon. Poltergeist looking to boost its stats with an impressive Dragon Dance there. Doing that performance does boost its attack and speed as well. See if it can become the fastest on the field. That mist doesn't affect the mist ball, does not affect the ghost types. Spiritomb goes with the boom burst and hits everybody on the field, but almost eliminates Obstagoon with that move who's hanging on, but it's gonna eliminate itself right now as it hits Spiritomb with the struggle and that recoil damage eliminates Obstagoon from the matchup already. So the dark typing is out of this. There's a Twister hitting both Spiritomb and Poltergeist from Licky Licky. And there's another Cursed Body taking effect as it affects Licky Licky now. So it will be struggling as it's also left with a Poison from Spiritomb. They need to get Poltergeist off this field. It is having a huge hindrance on the Goldenrod Balance as we have Beware coming out onto the field now. And Poltergeist goes immediately for the Outrage on Beware. Beware is going to respond with a Confusion to Poltergeist. Poltergeist having minimal damage done to it there, and Licky Licky with a, no moves left goes with the struggle onto Spiritomb, and Spiritomb's still hanging on after all that damage, and as Licky Licky does get hit with the recoil damage, and also gets hit with the poison, which takes it out of this matchup, so Licky Licky is now eliminated, this is a great start for the half time points, as Porygon 2 comes out and it has that trace, so it's going to copy the cursed body from Poltergeist, this is really good, maybe the Golden Eye Balance can take advantage of it, as Outrage hits Porygon 2 from Poltergeist this time, and it is going to leave Poltergeist confused due to the fatigue. And Beware flies up high in the air, and I have heard of Alolan and Beware's being able to look like they can fly by being able to jump up so high. The Grass type does get added to Poltergeist there. Spiritomb goes to play rough onto Porygon 2. Very good hit there. Porygon 2 still holding on as Poltergeist is confused, but shakes it off to go for the Sand Tomb. On to Porygon 2, and Porygon 2 still holding on, even though it's trapped by the quicksand. And here comes that fly from Beware onto Poltergeist. A massive hit, super effective due to that grass typing, eliminates Poltergeist from this matchup. Whereas that cut will not affect Spiritomb whatsoever as it goes and focuses its sights on Porygon 2. Now we have the upcoming Cursor into this field. As that Mega Punch doesn't affect Spiritomb, but the Blizzard is avoided by both Spiritomb and Cursler from Porygon 2. And Spiritomb now going with the Burn in Jealousy. Hits both normal types, eliminating Porygon 2. And a very good hit on to Beware, but it never got to capitalize on that Cursed Body as the Acupressure comes from Cursler. It's going to boost the evasiveness of Spiritomb there. Now out comes Porygon Z, who surely wants to stand up for what happened to Porygon 2 as it goes with the download ability boosting its attacks that... Porygon Z immediately cuts into its own health to throw out a substitute onto the field. As Beware now goes for a peck, another flying type move, and this time eliminates Spiritomb from the matchup. Beware doing very well for the Golden Knight Balance at the moment. As Cursler goes with the Waterfall onto the substitute, but that substitute takes the damage and does fade. So Porygon Z comes back onto the field as Decidueye comes out for the Heart Home Horns, and Cursler avoids the Drain Punch. This is why it goes with the happy hour. So everybody gets caught in that happy atmosphere as Beware goes with the poison jab. Not going for the grass type Pokemon, instead going for Cursler. And it's not very effective, but it sets off Cursler's perish body. Which means, but doesn't matter. 
because Kersler immediately goes to the Misty Explosion, a huge explosion, and that'll take down Beware, which means neither of them have to worry about waiting three moves because Kersler and Beware are taken out of this matchup right now with that super effective attack. What a play by Decidual, uh, by Kersler, sorry, not waiting around as Tauros comes onto the field as well as Driftblim. Tauros immediately goes with the Bug Buzz, which that is not very effective on Driftblim, and Porygon's are you springs up into the air with that bounce quite similar to the fly we saw earlier from beware ice shard is avoided by porygon z's decidueye goes with the circle throw onto taurus a very good hit they're super effective on the normal ball taurus now is going to hold a grudge after that and it wants to bear that grudge surely to decidueye as bounce eliminates decidueye from this matchup what a hit by porygon z it is down to a two versus two match as Driflim goes for the shell side arm onto Porygon Z, who hangs on barely, and Chandelure now comes out and immediately avoids the Crush Claw as it doesn't affect it, but Porygon Z goes with the Thunderbolt, and Chandelure is unable to avoid that move. But Chandelure responds with an arm thrust, gets one hit on Tauros. It's got two. If it can get all five, it's got three. That count is improving. It gets the fourth hit, it's going for the fifth, and it doesn't get it. It only gets four of the super effective hits as Driflim throws out some spikes, which are totally ineffective in this matchup. This late in the battle would have been better if it was done by the first Pokemon. And that Hyper Beam will not affect Driflim, and neither will the tackle from Porygon Z, but a Rock Wrecker from Chandelure is going to hit Taurus and take it out of this matchup. Taurus has been eliminated and Porygon Z is all by itself as Driftblim goes with the main look. And Porygon Z is still hanging on by a thread. It needs to hit hard as it immediately goes for the power trip onto Chandelure. And it's super effective on the Ghost Fire type as Chandelure has to recharge. But Driftblim not waiting around goes for the Sludge Bomb and Porygon Z is eliminated. And the Heart Home Haunts have got the victory. What a win there by the Ghost Types. A very good back and forth battle. I really enjoyed that one. I look forward to seeing these sides. But even more interestingly, now both these sides are tied for 8th place on the ladder. Hopefully next round that will separate them as the Golden Road Balance will face the Steel Type Olivine Ore. Whereas the Heart Home Horse will face the Lumio Lightning. I look forward to both those matchups. And in our next one, it's the Cinnabar Flare versus the Pewter Stones in an all Kanto battle. But until then, Nidorinos and Nidorinos. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe, but more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, and I will see you when you see me.